Nice, soft breath. So here we're just practicing the belly breath. Don't worry about the belly, ribs, and chest. And inhale, let's bring our hands to heart center. Sharing Om one time, followed by Shanti three times. Take a breath in. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Gayatri Mantra, take a breath in. Om Bhava Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Di Maki Diyo Yona Prachodayat Om Shanti Shanti, Shanti. And as you exhale, open the eyes, release the pose, and let's come to um, Dandasana. Today we will address group three of the Pawan Mutasana series, which is dedicated to energy freeing poses. So we want to, uh, we're going to heat up the body and try and move the subtle energy through the big muscles and through all the major joints, starting in Dundasana. Now, remember this is all about mind memory uh, focus. So if you need your stick to find out where is your Dundasana, go ahead. Or if you need something underneath the butt, or underneath your thighs, wherever, so that you can feel nice and comfortable in your Dandasana. You can also use your hands beside you, fingers pointing forward, shoulders gently down. For most of you, your elbows will be extended. Uh, you know me, I can't do that. Or you can even have your hands behind you. Okay, let's sit here. Relax the knees, they're soft, they're not doing anything. I don't care if your knee is up here, as long as you feel the stability from the seat bones through the torso. Soft belly breath. Now group three is a more energetic movement, so go ahead and open your eyes. As I exhale, I allow the torso to drop back. As I'm dropping back, I'm doing my best not to let my shoulders round, and I want to keep my head in line. Now, you can go back this far or this far, wherever it is that feels comfortable for your back. What we're doing here is holding that little bit of a, a pelvic tilt so that we can come back up. So on an inhale, I come back. You can have your hands in front. On an exhale, I come forward and see how my back is straight to the best of my ability, and I reach forward. All righty, inhale back, exhale, come forward. All right, hands can be in front of us. Let's begin. Inhaling back, looking at your toes, and exhale, come forward. Reach forward. Inhale back. Exhale, forward. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. From here, we widen our feet as wide as the mat. And we're just going to do a little spinal twist. So take that stick again, bring it behind you, hook it underneath the elbows. For me, it hits me right in the middle of the back, right 
below my bra strap. Hands are pointing down, relax the knees. Exhale to the right in a nice spinal twist. So take an inhale all together and exhale to the right. And now let the head turn back towards the right shoulder. Keep the chin in line. Relax your left shoulder. Both hips are even on the ground. It doesn't matter if your twist is not as deep as you would want, but keep that alignment of your hips pointing forward. Only the torso has the twist. Soft breath, eight, seven, six, five. Keep lengthening the spine. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come to center. Exhale to the left. Chin stays parallel to the floor. Turn the head to the best of your ability towards the left, towards the left shoulder behind you. Lengthen the back. Soften the knees. Try not to hold your balance with your lower body. Hold it right through the core, which is your seat bones. Relax, soft breath for eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to center. Release the stick. Mirroring the same movement that we did before, the very first one. As we inhale, we're going to go back. But now, as I exhale, I turn to the right, and I keep my torso turned to the right. As I exhale, come all the way up to center. Inhale, I turn to the left, come down, and exhale up to the right. Okay, got it? So we're Feet can be as wide as the mat. Hands are in front of us. We're in a nice dandasana. Let's begin. We're just going to go back. Inhale, go back. Exhale, turn to the right. Come up. Swoop to the right towards your toes. Inhale, swoop to the left. Come back. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, to the left and back. Exhale to the right. Let's change directions. Inhaling to the right and all the way back. Exhaling to the left. Come forward. Continue. Coming all the way back. Exhale to the left. One more. Inhale, scooping to the right. And exhale to the left. And release. Let's bring our feet closer together. They can be touching or perhaps hip width apart. Hands are in front of you. Make a nice prayer position. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale back, exhale forward. Ready? Inhale, come back. Exhale forward, reach forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And release. I, I move on my mat. I have to get back into, my, into the middle of my bat. 
From here, let's do a nice spinal twist. So go ahead, cross your legs. Doesn't matter, left or right. And let's do a spinal twist. Take your left hand, bring it to your right knee. Right arm, palm up, inhale the arm up. And as you exhale, let's turn to the right. Stay here, lengthen the back, release your left hand. So it's just floating above your knee. As you exhale, bring the right arm down behind you. Just float it above the mat, palm down. Bring those shoulders behind you, lengthen the back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take that right hand, inhale it up behind you, and then up towards the sky. Exhale, come back to center and release both hands down. Opposite side, take the right hand to the left knee, open up the palm of the left hand, inhale up. Bring the shoulders behind you, lengthen the spine. Exhale, find the twist. Release the right hand. Exhale, left hand comes behind you. You can leave it on the mat or you can just float it above. Shine the heart, lengthen through the spine. Drop the shoulders, easy breath here. So in a twist, and especially a seated twist, it's easier just to have a belly breath. Eight. Seven. Remember when we're in these static poses, this is a wonderful time to make the choice to still the thoughts and emotions that enter and leave our brain. And simply stay here in the moment in each breath. Three. Two. And one. Coming out of the pose, inhale the left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, release to center. And both hands are down. Coming into a low squat. Now, when we do this next exercises in the squat, you can just come to a squat where you're 90 degree angles between your ankle and your knee. You can even do this from a chair, all right? So you might look more like this, or you might come all the way down. They're both good options. Whatever option you choose, let's bring our head down, tuck the chin, extend the arms. Roll the shoulders. This can also be done from a chair, sitting on the edge of your chair. Coming into a forward fold, I simply bring my hands down towards the mat. Inhale, lift the hips up. Keep tucking the chin. Once I get all the way up, I'm in my forward fold. Hips are in the air. I'd like to tuck the chin to really feel the stretch all the way through the spine. Take those shoulders, roll them back. Don't let them hang out by your ears. Good. Exhale, come back to your squat. Extend the arms. Chin is tucked. Inhale, reverse. Forward fold. Tuck the chin, but take the shoulders back. Exhale, come back to your squat. One more time. Inhale. Roll the shoulders and hold.
Exhale, let's come back to our squat. Remember, whether you're halfway down or all the way down. From here, go ahead, let's bring those hands as close to our heart as possible. This time, as we stand up, we extend the torso and the hands overhead. Ready? Inhale, come up. Extend those arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands are still in prayer position. They come down, and I bend the knees, and I come back to my squat. Inhale up, nice and controlled. Extend up. Exhale down. Inhale up. As I extend the arms, I am gently dropping the shoulders down my back and towards the midline. Exhale, come back down to your squat. Inhale up. Exhale down. Changing it up, drop the hands. Inhale to a forward fold. Let's stay here. Bring those shoulders back towards the midline of your spine, away from your ears. Rock back and forth a little bit and see when you feel centered over your foot so that you're not putting too much weight behind your heels or too much forward onto your toes. Perhaps you can bring your fingers in line with your toes. Perhaps you can take your forearms and wrap them from the outside in and bring your hands into prayer position, right by your calves or even lower perhaps. Coming out of the pose, release your hands, bend the knees, lift the head, lengthen the back. Reverse swan dive. Inhale the arms out to the sides. Inhale, come all the way up, palms face the sky. Extend up, palms touch one another. Exhale, release the palms down to your sides. Release the shoulders. Beautiful. Let's come down to the mat, now face down. Let's come into a Sphinx pose, or sometimes they call it a baby cobra pose, because this is a wonderful position to understand the rib breath. So I bring my forearms down. Next to my body, palms are down. Your feet can be hip width apart, feel the toes on the mat. Feel the knee on the mat, the thighs, and now gently, slightly push your pubic bone a little into the mat. Not too much, because you don't want to arch your back. Forehead is resting on the mat. As I inhale, lift the head up. Inhale again, start to lift the chest off the floor, feeling the weight into the forearms. Drop the shoulders behind you. Now, if you clench your buttocks and push your pubic bone too hard into the mat, you create a tension in your lower back. That's not what we want. So loosen up just a little bit. Think about shining the heart forward. Extend your legs down, down the mat, so make sure you can still feel your toes. In this position, do a belly breath. See how your whole belly is pushing against the mat? Now let's try and do a chest or a, a rib breath. So the belly does not move against the mat. You're only going to feel your ribs widening. So 
So play with that. If this is something new to you, go back to the belly breath. Feel how that feels in your body, that sensation. And then do your best to only breathe through the ribs. Now in this position, it's very hard to do the upper chest breath. So we're going to focus on the ribs right now. If at any time you get tired, go ahead, release the pose, bring your head back down to the mat. And then come and join us again. Again, this is just about exploring the pose, exploring our breath, and letting the sensation be committed to our mind muscle memory data bank. You can even play around with tightening through the buttocks and then releasing and understanding how much tension you need to hold the pose and what you don't need. If you bring your pubic bone down to the mat using your front abdominal muscles, you can better relax the lumbar region and not introduce any tension there. See the difference? Okay, exhale, relax, everyone come down. Let's go into Makarana Asana or Crocodile Pose. Take your feet, widen them as wide as the mat, and if you can, toes point out, heels point in. Stack your hands one on top of another, or even fist on top of one another, and let your head roll to one side. Relax the shoulders. This is another wonderful pose to understand the sensation of belly breath versus chest or rib breath. So go ahead, do a belly breath. Now leave the belly alone, do a rib breath. Now, depending on uh, if your upper chest is still on the mat, and that all depends, you know, on the configuration of your spine, let's see if we can feel that upper chest breath. It's super subtle, much more subtle than the other two breaths. You're just going to feel a little bit more contact with the mat. If your spine allows it, you can even release your hands and just have your cheek resting on the mat and feel that chest breath. Now, most of us, uh, we're not even aware of it, but we mostly breathe through our chest anyway, just that we're not aware of it. So don't worry about trying to um, master this breath. You've already mastered it. You're just not aware that you have mastered it. But this little exercise right here helps us refine that awareness. So let's try the three-part yoga breath. Belly, ribs, chest on the inhale. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Go ahead. Stay here. If your neck uh, is not comfortable looking to one side or the other, you can also just have your face down into the mat. In this case, you might want to put your hands underneath your forehead so you don't smush your nose. All right, let's switch it up. Lay down on your back, supine position. Hand, one hand low on the belly, one on your rib cage. And let's practice that same three-part yoga breath. I have found that the slower I take my inhale, 
the easier it is for me to focus on those three separate parts. Once we've understood the mechanics of the breath, we can do it uh, with a little bit more fluidity. All right, so go ahead, play with it. Keep going, stay here, keep your focus on what you're doing. Now, go ahead, bring your hands down to the mat. Palms down. Let's review the Kaya Kriya. As I inhale through the belly, my feet are going towards one another. And it's not just the feet, it's not just from the ankle, it's from the hip, the knee, the toes are all pointing in. As I continue the inhale through the rib cage, my palms now turn over and point upward. And there's a whole movement from the shoulder through the fingers. As I come into the higher chest breath on that same inhale, I gently turn my head to the right. As I exhale through the chest, I gently bring my head to the left. As that exhale continues through the rib cage, my hands now come down towards the mat. As I finish the exhale, drawing the belly button towards the spine, my feet open. All right? I'll talk you through it one time, a couple times. Let's begin. Inhale, belly, do the feet. Inhale, ribs, do the hands. Inhale, chest, turn the head to the right. Exhale, only the head turns to the left. Keep the exhale through the ribs, the hands turn in. Exhale from the belly, the feet turn out. Continuing, inhale belly and feet. Inhale ribs and hands. Inhale chest and head to the right. Exhale chest, head to the left. Exhale ribs, hands down. Exhale belly, open the feet. All right, continue, enjoy. Here's a little tip. If you count three seconds for each three-part breath, three, se three seconds belly, three seconds ribs, three seconds chest, it'll help you remember which body part you're on because you're doing it in time segments. So play with that.
Continue here. Stay here. Keep doing your breath. And why don't you finish the cycle that you're on and then simply lay down quietly, bringing your hands gently to your body or down by your side, palms up. Keep your eyes closed, but keep this beautiful focus and rhythm of breath going. Stay with that beautiful rhythmic three-part breath. Stay focused on what you're doing. And let's finish all together that last exhale. Gently open your eyes. And before we come to a seated position, go ahead and go through the same little routine we do to come out of Savasana, which is moving toes and ankles, knees and hips, fingers and wrists. shoulders and head. So just kind of gently come back. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and find a nice comfortable seated position. And let's practice our Nada Pranayama. Simply bring your hands, either palms up on your knees or your thighs. Let's do the chin mudra, thumb touching the index finger or pointer finger, whatever this one is, the first finger, palms up. 
You know where chin comes from? The ch sound comes from chit, which means consciousness. Mudra. So this is really like the chit mudra. But in Sanskrit, when we have the T and the M, chit mudra together, because those are both Sanskrit words, it becomes an N sound. So there we have the chin mudra. Close the eyes. Now, before you start to retain the breath after the inhale and listen through the right ear, listening for an inner or an outer sound, find a stillness. And it doesn't matter how long that takes, all right? Find that stillness and then begin the practice. Go ahead. I'm going to stay here for 10 minutes, so really enjoy the practice.
And go ahead, take your last exhale here. Now here's something foamy can do is you open your eyes. For some of you, you're in a very comfortable position right now. And you may want to stay here for the next five minutes. For others, you may feel more comfortable and it's more beneficial to come into Savasana. So go ahead, make your choice. You can stay in your seated position or come into Savasana for the next five minutes. Savasana is all about relaxed awareness. So we still want to be aware of our consciousness as we are in a physically relaxed position. Now this can be done also in a seated posture, but you fool around and explore and see what is good for you. All right? Take a 30 seconds or so to find what works for you best. And on your own, mentally, in your own mind, please go through the, the routine that we do on our own, where I ask you to bring your focus from the toes to the heels to the foot, and then all the way to the top of your head. Go ahead and do it on your own. Once you've gone through your inventory, simply exhale and maintain that relaxed awareness. I'll mind the time for the next five minutes. Go ahead and start.
And then if you're in Savasana, pretend my voice is in your head and slowly wake up, bringing your consciousness thoroughly 100% back into your physical body by starting with the toes, moving the toes around and then ankles. Don't cheat. Don't go any faster than I usually go, okay? And I'll meet you in a seated position. Take your time. You just spent an hour getting your central nervous system into a beautiful parasympathetic state. Rest and relaxation. Digestion is working wonderfully. So let's all meet in a nice seated position once more. You know what I love about a yoga practice is it's the one hour in 24 hour day that you have 100% permission to simply focus on yourself. You get to focus on your thoughts, your emotions, your breath, your physical movements, and you have permission to do it. It's great. So I really um, want to say thank you. And my heart is full of gratitude for sharing this hour. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Eyes are nicely open. Sharing Om one time. Take a breath in. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Take a breath in. Exhale to the teacher within. And inhale, come back up. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we will be um, addressing flexibility. So if you have a chance to do some aerobic activity or take a hot shower, perhaps before your class, it uh, will be very beneficial as we address flexibility tomorrow. All right. See you. Ciao. Have a good day.